Mm. Oh. Ah, uh, dear. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching The Last of Us Episode 4. Now, in the last episode, we had a very, very emotional episode that was very, very good. One of the best episodes I've seen of a TV show in a very long time. Now, I have no idea what could happen in this episode because last episode was focused on Bill and Frank, and now we're picking up with Joel and Ellie now that they have the truck and supplies. So, like, there's nothing to really build off of last episode for Joel and Ellie, except they just have new supplies and a truck. I have no idea what could happen, so I have no idea what they could run into, so I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon. So let's get started. Oh yeah, I actually took the gun without Joel knowing. He's gonna tweak when he finds her with it. What if she actually just <laughs> shot it? <laughs> You're so funny. Like she thought it was empty, but it wasn't. We have to do this every hour? This breaks down over time. This stuff's oh. almost water. Damn. Back in the day, we'd drive 10, 12 hours on one tank. You could go anywhere. It travels against gravity because pressure. You don't know. I know it works. <laughs> yeah, I gotta extract the gas out of other cars. Here's a fun fact. One time, my dad told me he was when he was like 18 19 he was working on his car one day and and he had a cup of gas and he, and he also had a cup of water and then when he was thirsty he went to go take a sip of his water but he picked up the wrong cup and then he drank some of the gas he just he thought it was water and he you know he drinks it he's like and he immediately like spit it out and threw it up or whatever but like oh I mean, personally, I like the smell of gas. It doesn't bother me or anything. But like that, if I accidentally did that. No, no, no. Put that back. That's not for kids. How do you even walk around with that? Why are all these pages stuck together? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what I just thought of? Now that they're in the woods. Yeah, animals can get um, infected too, right? Dude, if you see like a bear. Or, whatever, or just like any animal in general that has the fungus in it. So can we start a fire? I'm freezing. Now why am I gonna tell you no? No, fungus isn't that smart. This is too remote for infected anyway. People? So what are they gonna do, rob us? Well, they'll have way more in mind than that. Personally, I'd probably wanna sleep in the truck. <sighs> Watch, something's gonna happen and then she's gonna have to use her gun and then He's gonna be happy that she had it, be or be really mad. <laughs> she's gonna like save him or something, and then he's gonna be, he's gonna be mad that she had it, but he like technically can't be because she did the right thing with it. You know what I mean? Joe. What? What? Why did the scarecrow get an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. <laughs> <He's dead. laughs> Man. Wow, that's that's nice though. That's a great view. There's no way anyone knows we're here, right? No one's gonna mm. find us. No one's gonna find us. I mean, you never know for sure, but I'd rather think that no one is going to when I'm going to sleep. <laughs> you know. <laughs> mm, yeah, I'd sleep in the truck, dude. Fuck, there's no way I could sleep in the open. There's no way. Like sleeping in general would be really hard. I don't know if I could. Oh, yeah, see, he can't either, you know? Oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> you don't like coffee? <sighs> Love coffee. Seriously, what those Starbucks and the Q's he used to sell? Well, theirs was a lot fresher than what Bill saved up, but yeah, this is what they sold. It smells like burnt shit. It, you'll come to love it. It's an acquired taste. Where in Wyoming did you say your brother was? Last contact came through a radio tower close to Cody. Whose name? Your brother. Tommy. Younger or older? Younger. Why isn't he with you? Long story. Is it longer than 25 hours? He's becoming a hero. So he enlists in the army right out of high school. Being in the army, it didn't make him feel much like a hero. But 12 years later, outbreak happens. He convinces me to join a group making their way up to Boston, which I did. Mostly to keep an eye on him, keep him alive. That's where we met Tess. And then Tommy meets Marlene. Hmm. 
I gotta go get him. If you don't think there's hope for the world, why bother going on? I mean, you gotta try, right? You haven't seen the world, so you don't know. You keep going for family. That's about it. I'm not family. Your cargo. But I made a promise to Tess. Hmm. What if you don't find him? I will. How do you know? I'm persistent. I feel like I have a strong feeling Tommy's gonna be dead. I'm not even tired. Uh, if we could just get past this, we can we have a clear road. I'm sure there's a way around it. You know, go in the field really quick, you know? Screw it. Right around this tunnel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I go actually, he didn't want to like go through the city, but he's like, screw it. Is that the QZ? Where the oh, fuck shit. is Fedra? Oh, shit, it's abandoned. Right. Oh, no! Oh, no! What do you do? No! Oh. <laughs> Seat belt on. Oh, he's running this guy over. You gonna help him? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. That was that was a trick from the very beginning. Yeah. You're not hurt, nothing. I don't think so. Fall to that wall and you squeeze through and you don't come out until I say, okay? <laughs> They're not gonna hit you. Ooh, you got him? Bro, what do you mean? You're shooting at me. Why, why are you mad at me? Because I capped one of you guys. Oh, she's going to shoot this guy. She's going to do it. She's going to do it through the hole. Yep. Oh, God. Joel will get him. Yep, Joel got him. I feel like there's more. Oh fuck yeah, I was about to say I feel like there's more than two. Mm, yeah, Ellie has to yeah, Ellie has to come out and shoot him. Uh, yeah, Joel he, oh shank his ass. No, you're just gonna have to shoot him. You're gonna have to shoot him. Dude, Joel Joel is gonna die if Ellie doesn't. Mm. Oh Fuck, dude, does she kill him? No 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 no, it's okay. It's okay. Ah, oh, yeah. I'm gonna go home. I'll tell everyone you're good. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Yeah, dude, it's like my mom isn't far. If you can get me to her, bro, you just tried to kill me. I don't know if I can help you. Trade with you guys. We can be friends. I didn't know. I'm right. Like Joel's just gonna kill him. <laughs> yeah, he's like, what the? Like, he's mad, but he can't be mad. Ah, uh, sorry, Brian. Wait, wait, wait. Fuck. <laughs> you can have it. It's a good knife. Get back behind the wall. No, no, no. Uh, no. No, no, no. Yeah, dude. Oh. Oh. Did you just stab him? Oh, that's tough. I mean, he was just trying to kill Joel, so... You know, he, he was just trying to kill Joel right there. Let's go. But you, it's such a tough situation because like you do feel bad for him. You don't want to kill him, but you just tried to kill us. So it's like, like when they're begging for their life like that, it's so hard, dude. I can't imagine. There's, I really like the way the show portrayed that though. That was really good. Like it made, really made me feel bad for Brian right there. Brian! Fuck, they're looking for him. Uh, I never told him anything about your brother. But Henry did. And we know that he's still in the city. So where is he? And I think that you know that. Where is he? You think I won't do it? Well, if you do it, then you definitely won't get to know where Henry is. Oh, oh no, it's Brian. Who did this? We think it was outsiders. Maybe he found someone out there. Maybe... Maybe he called these guys in. Hmm. Nah, they were just trying to pass by, and then you guys just kind of fucked them. No. <gasps> wow. Damn. This is Henry's work. Who is this Henry? Who is this Henry? I need to know. And kill them all. They're not Fedra, and they're not Fireflies. People. It's a different. Ver oh, just people. Are we okay in here? Probably not. They'll be coming through these places soon enough. 
We're in a bit of a predicament. All because we tried to take a little shortcut. <laughs> I probably wouldn't want to sit by the window just in case, you know, they like throw something in it to break the window to get in. Like they're like right there. But they needed practical lighting, so that's why they have them right there. <laughs> Kitty. Are you all right? Yeah, it's a lot for Ellie to process. That was essentially the first person she harmed. Right? If you, uh, I'm not good at this. Yeah, you really aren't. I mean, it was my fault. You shouldn't have had to. And I'm sorry. It wasn't my first time. Mmm. He's gonna, he's gonna trust her with it. Teach her how to use it first, you know. Finger off the trigger. Now, who taught you that? Fedra school. Uh-uh. You put it in your pack. You shoot your damn ass off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no sign of them. You? Yeah. Hmm. Mm. They're out of food. Henry won't let Sam starve. Double the guards around our provisions. He's fucking close. I can feel it. Yeah. Yeah, so that was Henry. What? Ooh. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's after. Kathleen. After. Mm. Seal off the building for now. I feel like that's gonna backfire on her because she's just gonna kind of ignore it too much and then it's gonna be a problem they can't control anymore. Come morning, I'll take a look at the city and find our way out. Jesus. Hey, you know that guy who said he was hurt? How did you know it was an ambush? I've been on both sides. It was a long time ago we did what we needed to survive. Did you kill innocent people? Mm. Come on. You might have a one point. Joe! What? What are you doing? I don't want someone sneaking up on us while we're sleeping. Right. Of course I'll hear it. That's the damn point. Okay. When we were talking about hurting people, what did you mean it wasn't your first time? Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. So it gets easier when you get older? No, not really. The reason I asked whether you'd hear the glass or not is because I've noticed you don't hear too well from your right side. Hmm. Is it because you were shot there? Probably more from shooting. Did you know diarrhea is hereditary? What? Mm. It runs in your genes. Ew. That is so goddamn stupid. <laughs> you laughed, motherfucker. I didn't laugh. Yes, you did. Jesus, I'm losing it. You're losing it big time. <laughs> yeah, see? Oh, they're cracking up. <laughs> that was almost a knee slapper. But they're bonding, so. Joel. Mm. Joel! Fuck, I knew it. Oh my god. Yeah, the glass didn't do shit for us. All right. Mm. Okay. Oh, okay. Fuck us. On end of the episode. All right. All right. Well, that, that kid went like, went like, shh, be a bro about it. Okay. All right. Well, that was episode four of The Last of Us. Pretty good episode. They came to a blockade of cars, so they're like, you know, we'll just go around. We'll go through the city for a bit. It will take only take a minute, and it's gonna take longer than a minute. So, got this new group of people. Don't have a name, just people in general, I guess. I guess it's like Fireflies, just a different version of them, you know. But they're living in the city. That girl Kathleen, new character. She's looking for Henry. So okay. Wait, maybe that was Henry. Oh my God, no fucking way. No, yeah, that had to be Henry at the end right there. Henry and his kid, Sam. That had to be them. That had to be. So now Joel and Ellie are gonna help Henry, I'm guessing, if that was them, and help him get out of the city and everything. And I guess we're, we're gonna have to fight off Kathleen and her and her army. So, or, does, or is it gonna come down to a choice Joel has to make? Hand over Henry so Ellie and Joel can get out of there. I don't know. I think Joel does it. If, it. if it comes down to that, like Kathleen catches them and she's like, yo, give us Henry and I'll let you go. Ellie's not going to want him to do it, but I think Joel will. And then that's going to kind of, that's going to make Ellie kind of resent Joel for a little bit because it wasn't the right thing to do, but it was what he had to do to, 
to make sure they live. So I don't know, that's just a guess. I know I didn't really say too much during this episode, but I just didn't want to talk over everything the entire time. I wanted to just listen to what they were saying. Okay, one thing I want to add too is I kind of feel like Ellie's going to start to think Joel's not really a good person. Like he's doing what he has to do in order to survive and everything like with the ambush he told her he's been on both sides of it too and then she asked him did you kill innocent people and he didn't really answer that question so it kind of makes me think yeah he did it's like in his mind you're just doing what you have to do to survive and then like he killed brian and everything like brian you know he was begging for his life ellie didn't want to kill him but joel joel did because he knew he had to and then i think it's going to come down to joel making a decision to hand over henry and sam to kathleen so him and ellie can escape but Ellie's not going to agree with that and she's going to really hate Joel for handing them over. And I feel like at the same time, since like Ellie's making all these jokes to him, you know, they're kind of, they're forming another bond. So as Joel's growing more attached to her and like she's growing on Joel, Ellie's going to kind of come more unattached to Joel by finding out more of like kind of the person he is. But then again, it's like he's doing it because he has to, to survive, you know, it's a cruel world, you know, tough decisions have to be made. There's no easy decisions to make anymore. So I think that's what's gonna happen going further. And like when they were in the car driving to the city, Ellie was kind of like, well, what's the point to keep on going? You know, if like life's just shitty like this and Joel made a point like, oh, it's worth to keep going for family. And then Ellie was like, am I family? And Joe's like, no, your cargo, which is pretty brutal, honestly, but she's clearly growing on him more and more. And I feel like Ellie likes Joel. She wants to be a part of him. She wants to be considered family to him, you know, like he's been watching over her. Like she could definitely stick with him. She probably feels safe around him and everything. But the fact that he said she's just cargo kind of makes me feel like Ellie also feels like he doesn't give a shit about her. So he's going to feel neglected. And then also discovering more about what type of person he is. I feel like she's going to make a decision for herself and be like, well, Joel doesn't give a shit about me. And then she and that's going to be when Joel cares about her the most. And then Ellie's probably going to leave him or something like that and then he's gonna have to go and like save her or maybe if like it comes down to him handing over sam and henry ellie's not gonna agree with that joe and ellie are gonna leave but then ellie might like try and go back for them and like try and save them because you know the good person inside her wants to do it and i'm like i'm sure joel would want to save them too but he knows it's super dangerous and he can get them both killed so but she's gonna go back without telling him and then he's gonna have to go back to save her but then he's gonna save henry and sam too that's my guess. And also, I feel like Henry and Sam are like, they're good people. Kathleen did say that Henry fucked over her brother. But I feel like that's just another decision Henry had to make for him and Sam. It's nothing personal. She obviously wants revenge on him for it. So, so I feel like Henry and Sam aren't bad people. Like, they just did what they had to do, you know? And also, it turns out, it's not that, like, he didn't really trust her with a gun. Like, I'm sure he didn't a little bit, but it was more of the fact that, like, he just kind of wanted to, like, preserve her innocence. You know, she's a kid. She shouldn't have to deal with this. She shouldn't have to have, have to kill people. She shouldn't have to have to use a gun, you know? But, I mean, it, it's a different world now, you know? It's survival of the fittest. It's a kill or be killed world now. So... <sighs> A lot of tough decisions you know but that was episode four of the last of us comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments and if you like the video like the video and thanks for watching oh oh